Do you guys finish a packet of shapes when you open it? Absolutely. Yeah. I hate finishing it in one sitting. It's so easy to though, bro. I dead set reckon the biggest argument in Australia, if you go to someone's house and you want to like start a conversation, just say, which shape do you think is the best? Oh my God, someone's done it. This is our definitive ranking of shapes. Number seven, cheese and bacon. Oh my God. They're number one, bro. What the fuck? Number six, savory. There is no way on God's green earth savory beats fucking cheese and bacon. In what fucking world? In what fucking world does the no flavor biscuits beat cheese and bacon? Oh, I am beyond triggered. If this motherfucker put chicken crimpy number one, I'm going to lose it. Oh, no. This is the worst tier list of all time. Right, listen. We're going to do it right and in order, okay? Cheese and bacon is amazing. Don't eat cheese and bacon. Get up there. If there was a higher bracket, it'd be up here. Cheese and bacon stands alone as the number one sh flavor in the world. What else can you eat a whole box of? Pizza. Yes, you can eat a whole box of pizza. Absolutely. Now, chat. Can you eat a whole packet of savory shapes? Can you eat a whole packet? No. Can you even eat one? No, because they're fucking horrible. Now, barbecue. Everyone stop. Chat. I feel like barbecue is where we all start. It was like our initiation to, to, to shapes. We all started with barbecue. And then we branched out and found greener pastures. But we all started somewhere around that. Chicken crimpy. Now, listen to me. Chicken crimpy is a good biscuit. And this is my list. Chicken crimpy in my humble opinion, is average. It's not good. It's not bad. Wouldn't even give it that much credit. Chicken drumstick. How did it even make the list? How did chicken drumstick even make the list? Unpopular opinion. Cheddar, actually really good. Cheddar in small doses, actually really good. I said it. I said it. In small doses, cheddar pretty good. I'm saying cheddar's actually kind of good. Hot take, I don't agree. <laughs> People are like, oh, interesting opinion. I definitely disagree. And chat, nacho cheese is just bad. Nacho cheese is Cheddar's younger, uglier cousin. Like, nacho cheese is trash. It's just, it's not that great. Cheddar's a far superior cheese flavored biscuit. Now, chat, does anyone disagree with this? Nope. Yes, I disagree. Slightly. Pizza and chicken should be top. Pizza and chicken? No, bro. Favorites tier list. Is there any other tier lists? What's the, oh, what's the one that are like really, oh, best pizza toppings tier list. Huge, huge. All right, chat, here we go. Oh, dude, this is gonna, oh, this is gonna piss people off. Bacon. Bacon is the great stuff. Bacon is the great stuff. It's not the top stuff, but it's great stuff. If pineapple is not the right stuff, him, I'm subbing. Chat, when we get to pineapple, we'll get there. When we get to pineapple, we'll be okay. Stop talking about pineapple. We're not even there yet. Fucking burn the pineapple. We're not even there yet and everyone is molding. Okay, relax. We're not there yet. Stop. Is that lamb? It's steak. It's steak? It's good, but it's a little bit too meaty. Now, capsicum. Every single pizza should have... Kyle... At, did you add pineapple as a blocked term? Chat, capsicum, does it? Yep, yep, exactly right. Every pizza. Every pizza. Yep. Broccoli. Who the fuck puts broccoli on a pizza any trues? What the fuck? Like, who? Broccoli pizza is elite. Oh, nah. No, it's not. Now, cheese. Chat, it's cheese. It's cheese. It's got, it's like cheese and cat. Dude, it's cheese. You gotta have cheese. This looks like tomato, like cherry tomatoes. It's great. It's not a necessity, but it's great. They are great on pizza. Lower. Nah. Is that chicken? Chicken on pizza. Dude, chicken on pizza? Yep. The right stuff. Bread. It's not bread, it's chicken. Poultry is acceptable. Thank you very much. Corn. Who the fuck puts corn on a pizza, dude? What the fuck is this shit? Crab meat? Like, I'll do a little bit of seafood every now and then. It's not low tier, but like, it's... No, I don't know. Now, eggplant. 
roast eggplant on pizza is fucking unreal. Trust me, chat. It is fucking good. You're so old. Okay. Is there anyone who agrees? Is there any truths? I'm seeing all nopers. It's good. Marie, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. True. Yeah, we got true. It's Lutra. You probably don't even... You probably have never had an eggplant pizza, but you're just saying yes because you want to fuck me. Chilies. Okay. A little bit of chili is good. A little bit of chili is good. It's not necessary, but it's... Yep. Mushrooms are fucking great on pizza. Mushrooms are so great on pizza. Is that al olives? Take it or leave it. I like them. Sometimes they're not necessary. Olives are good though. I like olives. In fact, olives, great. Olives, good. I like olives. Olives are good. Olives are good. Olives are good. Yeah, olives are good. Onion. Everyone, yeah, dude, chat. Everyone's having onion. Yeah, you got to have some onion on your pizza. Pepperoni lip. Is this potato? Chat, I'm leaving it till the end. Potato is very thick. And adding that to an already thick thing like a dough is not a good idea. I never tried it really, but I feel like it'd be too thick for me. Chat, is that salami or is that is that salami now? They're both great. Put them both together. These meats were made for pizza. Cabin Aussie. Yeah, they were made for pizza. They were made for it. And unpopular opinion, but spinach is fucking great on pizza as well. I think spinach is the best green that you can put on pizza. It works so well with it. Yep, spinach is elite. Yep, true. We all agree. Yep. Okay, it's time. Now, listen... This is my personal opinion, okay? This is my personal opinion about pineapple. My personal opinion on pineapple. On a pizza. Nothing wrong with it. Sometimes adds flavor. I said it. Nothing wrong with it. Sometimes adds flavor. I think pineapple is completely fine. Exclamation mark unsub. Dude, there's nothing. Fence sitter. Dude, put it on Exclamation the... mark true. <laughs> Leaving people who bitch about pineapple need a personality. Yeah, you're fucking right, Chad. Fuck them. Chad, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Imagine pineapple over bacon. I just don't think bacon works. The, the texture of bacon doesn't work. Unless it's finely diced. I don't know, man. Pineapple haters, get out. That was fun. Yeah, that was great, wasn't it, dude? Oh, 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 oh. oh this is good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is bad. This is going to piss some people off here, dude. Is Moro the one that sort of tastes like a Mars bar? Yeah, Mars bar, right? It's the same, right? It's a B. Underrated, but like, it's never going to be a Mars bar. But it's like, it's okay. You know, you'll eat it. You're not going to not eat it. You know what I mean? So we have a box in Australia called a favorites box. It's a box of chocolates that have little mini bars in them. And this is like what we, where, how we rate those little bars. They're like, dude, chat, if you're from Australia, you know this. How many times have you gotten your mum a box of favourites or you've got your auntie a box of favourites or your cousin a box of favourites for Christmas, their birthday, like whatever. A box of favourites is like the, like, it's like the gold standard gift in Australia. It's like so gold standard. I buy them actual chocolates. Oh, okay, Mr. Rich Boy. Dairy milk caramello. It's an A. It's good. It is good. It is, it's, it's, it's. Dairy milk caramello. Caramellos are good. They're great. Caramellos are fine. Dream white chocolate. Now, white chocolate, I'll be honest, chat. White chocolate is not something that I can have a lot of. Okay. I like I don't like white chocolate that much. I'll put I won't put it in D, but it's like a C for me. I'll eat it, but I can't have more than one. I just can't. It's not that good. I bet you like dark, you fucking boomer. Yeah, I do. Boost is good. Boost is really good. Boost is very good. Boost S tier. Really? Boost S tier? You're in S tier for boost? All right. The cherry ripe. S. The cherry ripe is magnifique. The cherry ripe chat is fucking unreal. No fucking way. Dude, the cherry ripe is lit. Are you kidding me? Good job, Mr. Streamer. Any agreeers? Any agreeers? There's a few truths. I see some truths. You're so fucked. It's real. It's always the pineapple lovers that love cherry ripe. Get fucked. No, hey, what the fuck? Now, the crunchy. Ooh. I used to stick my tongue into a crunchy until the crunchy honeycomb melted away. And then I'd just be left with like this soggy chocolate tube. I used to eat the outside first. Chat, don't tell me you haven't tried to like rub your tongue up against the serrated edge of the honeycomb to the point where your tongue was like disgustingly like like serrated because you're like trying to hold it. You've done it, haven't you? And for that, it's an S. The Crunchy has so many different eating techniques that make it one of the best chocolate bars of all time. It is sensational. 
It is S, but not for that reason. It's for that reason. The amount of eating techniques that you can put onto a crunchy is insane. God, you're so wrong. I'm not wrong. This is my opinion. It's S tier, but that's weird. It's S tier, but you're fucking weird, bro. Okay, now, the picnic. The picnic is a good bar. I think it's an A for me. The crunchy being an A, I think, is right on the money. Now, chat, old gold original. Now, it's old gold. That I can't remember what old gold is. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to put it in D because I don't know what it is. Oh. Now, see, what we're about to discuss here is very... It, it's very important how we discuss this next one because the flake is a B-tier chocolate bar, but when it is combined with the soft serve McDonald's ice cream cone, it becomes something that no one could ever have thought it could become. Do you know what I mean? It 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 it, it, it transforms. It almost it's like Charmander becomes Charizard and completely skips Charmeleon. It just goes from something to nothing. Like nothing to like. But we are talking about this chocolate bar without that. Therefore, I must put it at B because it is not in the cone. It is this made into wafer format. And this, this will is always too much. be S tier. Dairy Milk started it all. It's just one of the best. You can't do it. What are you going to do? The next one. The next one is Pineapple on Pizza 2.0. And I don't want people to ever get mad at what's about to happen here. Okay? And I want people to understand that this is purely opinion and we don't get angry at each other. Okay? All right, here we go. Turkish Delight. Some will argue that the Turkish Delight tastes like you're biting into human flesh, which at times it does because it is a, we it is a weird consistency. However, the strong cherry notes of that translucent goodness jelly inside of this chocolate bar make Turkish Delight an S tier. It is incredible. You're not thinking right. <laughs> Dude, Turkish Delight is... That is fucking disgusting and I'm leaving. <laughs> what? Dude, it's good. Turkish Delight is really, really good. This has to be TOS somehow. <laughs> You've been reported? Chat, you are weird. You are weird. This night is so fucked.